Henry Ford was an American industrialist, business magnate, and founder of the Ford Motor Company. He was also the chief developer of the assembly line technique for mass production. On October 1, 1908, the first production Model T Ford was completed at the Ford plant located in Detroit, Michigan. The Model T was the first Ford with all of its parts built by the company itself. The car originally sold for $850, an affordable price for many, but still considered higher than the average American worker's income at the time. Between 1908 and 1927, Ford built some 15 million Model T cars. It was the longest production run of any automobile model in history until the Volkswagen Beetle surpassed it in 1972. But I bet Henry would have never imagined his Model T Ford transitioning in the way that you're going to see it today. We've got a 1923 Model T Ford radically customized way beyond Henry's original vision. The horsepower alone would astonish Ford if he could experience it today. This is truly a one-of-a-kind machine. And better yet, this car can be yours to own. So sit back, fasten your seat belts, and get ready for the rumble on this episode of History and Relics. We're glad you're joining us today. We have got a treat for you. We have John Cost. We're in Warren, Ohio today, and we're going to talk about his 1923 Model T Ford Rat Rod Hot Rod. This thing's incredible. So this is John Cost. John, thank you for joining us today. All right, thank you. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about this uh, about this car? Now they they say um, this is a rat rod. And uh, for those that don't know, tell us a little bit what makes a rat rod a rat rod. Well, rat rods are uh, pieces and parts put together, different, some different vehicles, different uh, pieces of engines and transmissions and body parts and, and just whoever is building that car, whatever their, you know, their mind is thinking, they start putting that piece of the car together. Okay. So it's definitely not what Henry Ford originally mentioned. No, or no. Really, originally envisioned. No, no, okay. no, not at all. Okay. So how did you come about getting started with this project? And maybe when? when? When did you get started? How did you come about this? So back in uh, oh, about oh two, uh, my dad always wanted to build this car, and uh, he suddenly passed. And after a couple of years, back in uh, in oh five, I decided I was going to start building the car. Okay. Uh, so the car itself, uh, the frame was hanging from the rafters of the garage we're in right now, and the frame's actually an original 1930 Model A frame. Okay. All right. So. So uh, it wasn't rolling at the time. No, there was nothing on there. I got a photo album about two inches thick of each process all the way okay. through the whole thing. And we'll be sure to show you some of those early pictures too. It's amazing how how this car started out and where it's at today. So after uh, it took us, I had every day I had a couple of my buddies, we'd all we'd go, go in the garage every Saturday, and that was tea bucket day. <laughs> and uh, so we started off, and it took us about three years to get it a roller, to get all the suspension, the chassis, get it on some wheels, and just push it outside, not even with the body on or nothing, just oh, wow. the actual, okay. get that part right there every Saturday. That's what we did. Three years on. just to get that far. Just to get that far. Wow. We dedicated okay. that Saturday, that was what the day we worked on. Okay. Um, and then from there, it was a matter of, okay, what engine, what transmission you put in, you know, the rear end, you start looking for pieces and parts. Uh, we would go through junkyards and looking for like the rear end in it, you know. Okay. Um, 
my dad had some of the parts like scattered throughout the garage and so I found some of those parts and used some of those and uh, the motor was in the back in the corner all tore apart in pieces and you know so the motor is an actual uh, matching number 69327 uh, so it has the 202 heads on there uh, so it's a very very good running motor that is that uh, is that a Corvette engine? I, I was yes. The numbers on okay. there come back as it being in a Corvette. So it is the four and eight inch bore uh, motor. So it's a three sixty five horse from the factory okay. motor in there. It's got a mild cam in it. Nothing real radical. It's good for you know just cruising down the road. Okay. Um, and then from there, just put uh, a turbo four hundred, and then with a four nine inch in the back with three fifty five gears. Okay. And so that really is sort of like a wrap rod. You got a. a, a uh, uh, 20, what did it say, the, for the frame? The frame was a 30 model, model A. 30 model A, yeah. model T body, Corvette engine. Yes. You know, so it's really just a, it's a hodgepodge, but you'd never know it looking at it. Right. You and, know. Then, and then from there, uh, I upgraded a little bit. I put a rack and pinion steering in there. Okay. Uh, put a tilt steering wheel in there to help add for a little bit of extra leg room and stuff for on there. A little bit of comfort? A little bit of comfort on there. All right. And then I had... Uh, uh, then it just, and then from there, I bought the original Ford Smoothie hubcaps and beauty rings, but I ordered some rims from Will Smith out of California. Okay. And then put the real wide steam rollers on the back of it. You know, oh, it's that nice cool. tea bucket. All right. You know, tea bucket look on there. All right. Well, hey, uh, I'm sure everybody's, you know, chomping at the bit. They want to take a look at this car, so why don't you kind of show me around and, you know, we'll. Sure. We'll, we'll show everybody the car. Okay. Yeah, All right. Sounds good. All right. Oh man, now John wasn't kidding when he said that he started this project with just a frame. From there, many a Saturday was spent and probably dozens of pots of coffee were drank between him, family and friends who helped him bring this car to life. One step and one piece at a time. But I think you'll like the finished product. All right, so these are the rims I ordered from uh, Will Smith out of California. Uh, I did have them powder coated, so you don't have to worry about anything with paint or chipping or anything like that. And I got the uh, the Ford uh, hubcaps and beauty rings on there. Um, I do have a, a solid axle with a four inch drop in the front uh, with some you know, some chrome shocks on the front right there. Uh, let's see rack and pinion steering, which is down here in the front. Uh, so it is all manual steering on there. I uh, got an Edelbrock uh, carburetor, so single carb, some old school Mickey Thompson uh, valve covers that my dad had, I found sitting up in the top of the garage. And uh, so I put those on there to keep the old school uh, look on the car because I didn't want anything too flashy or anything like that. Uh, so then the uh, stainless steel firewall I cut and polished at myself. Uh, put that on there. Uh, the painting on the car, I have one there in the front of the old Road Runner on there. That was done at a car show uh, with the car. And I have a couple other paintings we can show you on the back that was that was done from uh, a car show. Is that the original paint on the engine, or did you have to repaint the engine? I did repaint that. When the motor first went in there, I painted everything up on there, the, you know, the orange and the black. I always like the Chevy orange and the black offset. Uh, Edelbrock intake on there, electric fan. Then from this angle right here, you can see the uh, uh, four inch drop solid axle, and it does have the, the old school reverse arch leaf spring. That's your front suspension on the front of this. Um, and then you also have the uh, stabilizer shock on the front that helps up for stiffening up the steering um, on there on the front. 
And the interior is a marine grade uh, that had custom put a uh, custom made. It even has a removable floor mat inside, and, and I had them put a pocket on, underneath the seat, underneath your legs. You could put some CDs or your keys, your wallet. Uh, storage underneath the seat. When, what's really cool is I designed this interior. Uh, obviously, if you look at it from the front, I have a black strip that comes down the middle. So when you look at it from the front outside of the car, it represents a T on here, so which is really cool. So you, you know you gotta look for it. If you know it's there, you actually see the T on there. Uh, tilt wheel in there, it had it adds a little extra comfort in there. We can have the tilt wheel up or down. Uh, single CD radio, uh, have a little bit of music playing there while you're cruising down the road. Uh, we got the little car uh, shifter, had to have the biggest, largest shifter I could find because that looked cool. And I have a skull here that actually put a little light in the back of it and it'll actually glow at nighttime when you're driving down the road. So that gets a lot of heads turning at nighttime if you're on a nice little cruise on there. And this is automatic? It is an automatic, yeah, turbo 400, so yes, it is a three-speed automatic on there and it has 355 gears uh, for the Ford 9-inch, so it's a nice cruising uh, ring, uh, or I'm sorry, gear ratio, so you're not revving, you know, real high like a 411 gear or something like that. Let's take a closer look now at this custom interior completed by Jay's Upholstery out of Rootstown, Ohio, and get a closer look at this 327 Corvette engine as well. All right, now for the parts you've all been waiting for. Let's start that engine. All right, here we are. Uh, she's been uh, sitting all winter long. Uh, so I just stuck the battery in there to hook it up. Uh, we're gonna see if, she'll, see if she'll fire right up here, pump gas a couple times and see what happens. All right, let's rev her up and hear her roar now. All right, everyone, let's recap some of the highlights and features this car has. It's a 1923 Model T with a fiberglass body that sits upon a 1930 Model A steel frame. It has a 1969 matching number 327 Chevy Corvette engine with 202 heads, a three-speed automatic, and a 400 turbo. It has rack and pinion steering a 4-inch dropped solid steel front axle, a Ford 9-inch rear end axle, Mickey Thompson valve covers, an Edelbrock single barrel carb and intake, a polished stainless steel firewall, custom marine grade upholstery, tilt wheel, and an AM FM CD radio with two speakers and good clean title. 
John, thank you very much for showing us this car. This is a very nice car. It's very well built. It's well put together. It's got a lot of history to it. Thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. Um, but as I understand, this car's it's for sale, right? Yeah. You're actually willing to part with this? Yeah. <laughs> Long memory. Um, but I now have five grandkids. Five? Five, yeah. Okay. And, uh, you All can't right. put five grandkids in this car. That's... When I built that, I didn't have any grandkids, and uh, so now I want to build another car. Okay. I want a car that I can put the grandkids in them and go for a ride. And oh, this car go. here, two people, you go for a cruise, go to the local car show, that kind of thing. So, yeah, okay. it's for sale. All right, yeah. all right. Well, hey, for those of you out there, if you're interested, uh, I will have my contact out there. Uh, my contact information, I will have John's contact information out there. If you have any questions... If you want to come see the car, if you want to hear it uh, start up, you want to take it for a ride, uh, whatever the case may be, we're going to have that contact information out there. We'll talk about price at that time, and uh, be sure to look John up, contact him. We showed you a lot today, but this car has a lot more to offer in person. So come out and take a look at it. Thank you, John. John appreciate thanks it. a lot, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Here's that contact information one more time. If you have any questions or wish to discuss details about the car, including price. You can call or text owner John Cost directly at area code 330-984-2997 or call or text History and Relics at area code 216-533-8825. We look forward to hearing from you. And that's going to conclude our show for today, but you're all invited to join us next time for more exciting and intriguing stories. If you like our content, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our great content. And until next time, everyone, this one's history.